In this video, we will see how we can troubleshoot a scenario when new petrol agents are not getting added in TrueSight Infrastructure Management Server. We will see how to resolve this by looking at the logs and the exceptions. There will be a series of video having different use case and scenarios with different resolution for the problem. In this video, we will focus on one of such scenario. I've installed a new petrol agent on this machine and this is not getting added in the TrueSight console. So let's see the petrol agent log file if it is installed and if it is connected to the integration service. As we scroll down to the petrol agent log file, I can see it is connected to the integration service on the same server. Now let's see if it is showing connected on the TrueSight console. If we search for the same petrol agent, on the TrueSight console, we can see only one integration service is there. However, it does not have a petrol agent added under it. So let's troubleshoot this scenario. Now we will check the integration service logs. This is my integration service. Under TSIM agent pronto logs debug folder, you will see a file petrol agent cache.dump. We'll open this petrol agent cache.dump file and we will look for the petrol agent if it shows connecting. As we can see, the status here is in still in connecting mode instead of connected. In the integration service log, you can search for your petrol agent. Here we can see the petrol agent is still waiting for the acknowledgement from the agent controller. So we can see here the petrol agent is partially added in integration service. To analyze this further, we will need to check the TSIM server logs to understand why agent controller has not sent the acknowledgement to the integration service. This is my TSIM server. On the TSIM server, we'll go to the PW Pronto logs folder and we will open the truesite.log. Let's search for our petrol agent here. Here we can see fail to create device for the petrol agent with this host name. If we slowly scroll down, you can see data addition failed and the reason behind this is component model standard is not defined in the cell. And that's the reason the data addition failed is seen in the TSIM server due to which the new petrol agents are not getting added. Since the default instances which is needed for the device creation is not added in the cell, we will now need to manually add this into the cell. Go to the cell KB directory and then the data folder. From this, you can go to the command prompt at the same location. So this is the command to push the default instances into the cell. This data instance definition is added in the rules folder in the later versions. To verify this, you can go to KB rules directory and open the mcintevt.mrl file. This definition is added in the later versions of the cell from 11.3.01 onwards. In case if this rule is not present, you can add this rule from the KA article 331711 and add this on top of the file. Once you add this rule, you can save the file and compile and then you can restart the cell. Once the cell is restarted for any reason if the data instance get missing from the mcdb file this rule will dynamically add this data instance in the cell database. Once the tsim cell is restarted you can come on the true side console and look for your petrol agent and now you can see the petrol agent is now successfully added in the tsim server and we can see it on the true side console as well. This concludes my video. Thank you.